Stephon Gilmore. It's clear he didn't want to be here in the first place. And when I think about Stephon Gilmore, I just think about when he got drafted, right? Remember that blank face? <laughs> that, he, that, he, that he was showing when he was um, getting drafted in the handshakes and he was just like, uh, Buffalo, why do I got to go there? And uh, then you kind of started seeing it, right? He, didn't, he started not showing up to OTAs, was getting late. He, his effort on the field was starting to decline. And I'll never forget when he was – when he signed with the Patriots and said, now the world can see what he can really do. It's just like, what? Like, damn, dude. Like, I don't know. It, it, Stephon Gilmore, definitely uh, low – definitely one player I, I didn't – I don't want to see back. He's great. He's great at what he does, but I just don't. I just don't like him as a Buffalo Bill. Yeah, he's the type of player where I don't have the same hatred as you, but I completely understand where you're coming from. For me, a, a player like that is like I'm this top flight player on a top flight defense, and like, what are we doing? Getting seven, eight wins because we can't figure out the rest of the organization. Um, so I didn't hate him as much at the time. I was I was fine with him leaving. You know, when he's getting top cornerback money, it, it doesn't make sense to bring him back on a team that's going nowhere. Mm-hmm. Um, but where I where I kind of realized how much I didn't want him back in my organization is when he was kind of sitting out there with, in free agency. You know, we're wondering if New England's going to pay him or not and all that. And then you start seeing the rumors of, well, could he reunite with Buffalo? I was like, no, I don't want him back here. Like, we moved on. We carried on. We have our number one. I don't want to pay him anything. Mm -hmm. And then it kind of dawned on me. I was like, I do have that hatred for Stephon Gilmore, you know? Yeah. I didn't know I had it until then. Right. And I'll kind of – I don't know if I ever told you this, but – so I used to work at the melting pot in Buffalo and I'll never forget this day. So Stefan Gilmore comes in on a busy, busy Saturday and I'm working the bar and he comes in with his girl and his kid and he and the owner is like right next to me and I, I'm like you know, jaw dropped like you're Stephon Gilmore, and he's like, "They're like, don't go talk to him, Andrew. He just wants to be a person right now." <laughs> and they and he's like, "Can I get a table for three? Quite literally, that monotone, low. And he had that draft, draft, a uh, draft face. You know, just kind of like blank, like, and the media face that he always gives is just like dead fish. And then the owner was just like, "No, I'm sorry." And I remember me and a couple of other coworkers came up to him. I was like, dude, what are you doing? He was like, what? Who is he? He was like, that's Stefan Gilmore. He was like, who's that? Like, well, he didn't like, make a reservation. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> yeah, he definitely didn't make books. a reservation. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, if, you, if, I was, if I was that guy, I'd be like, clear. Like, hey, if it were up to me, I'd be like, hey, I know you guys are eating everything, but you got to move. Like Stefan Gilmore and his girl and his kids, they got to eat right now. 